Modeling shape as this armchair in Revit seems pretty hard or even impossible to a lot of Revit users. Bearing in mind that you are already here means that you don't want to be the part of that group. So, when you are dealing with similar forms to this one, first they try to break it down to a simple geometry elements and then proceed with the modeling. As you could see, this tutorial doesn't take a long time, which implies that the process I did was quite quick and simple. So, let's move to Revit, where I'm going to show you how I simplified geometry and made a model. First thing we need to do in Revit is to pick a proper family where we are going to make this armchair and I'm going to use metric furniture. And before I start with the modeling, I will try to see which kind of geometrical elements we have in this form. So the first thing I can see is this quarter of a sphere over there. And we have to think about how we can make it. So if we take a closer look at this part here, we see that we have, let's say, this path. And then we see that we have this profile. So in Revit, I'm going to use a sweep to try to create this. So from the side view, I will just go to create sweep and we'll sketch a path. And we'll assume that the height is 750. So we'll take arch 750 in height and we'll just move it so it tangent this reference plane. We'll confirm this as a path and we'll go to the reference plane and here I'm going to create a profile. Again, we'll go back to the picture. We'll delete all those things. Now, if we take a closer look here at this part, we see that we have some kind of thickness and I'm going to create it right now. Otherwise, I will, it will be impossible to create sweep. Uh, what means that, let's say that the width is 750 as well and we know that the half of the 750 of the height is 375. The reason why I made this is because we cannot have the tangent to this line. So we need to have kind of offset and the offset needs to be, let's say, the half of this thickness. And in this case, I will just take, let's say, 10 millimeters. I'm now using a bit of the cat technique because I hope that it will be easier for you to understand this. And then again, I'm going to use arch here to here. And then I will just go snap to midpoint SM. Let's delete those two and let's just do the offset of five millimeters to inside. Spice it and let's just trim. Now, when we have the closed profile, we can just go to 3D and we can see what we are going to get. So yeah, this seems fine. <laughs> it was quite simple, isn't it? Uh, let's move to the second part and it's to create this quarter of a sphere. So for that, I'm going to just uh, create a new reference plane over there. I will name it as O1 and we'll go to the front view. So from the front view, I will just create a real wall. Let's pick the O1 for the reference plane and let's just start picking lines. So I will take those two lines. Let's take this one here and then we'll close it at the middle. We'll trim the rest so we get the close profile and then just we'll create the axis line at the middle here. And let's go to 3D. Okay, this needs to be 180 degrees. If this happens, just at the negative value. And we got it. So let's go to the left view and let's just mirror this one. This seems fine as you could see, but we are not done yet because if we go to this picture, we will see that from this end here and then where we have the start of our quarter of a sphere, we have some kind of the straight element. So I will just go to the reference plane. I will just move this a little bit. And then from the front view again, I'm going to the create extrusion for the reference plane, pick the same O1. And let's just make extrusion. So it's fine. It goes in a negative, it goes the opposite direction. So I'm just going to drag this part and I'm just going to lock it here and I'm just going to mirror this one 
and again I'm going to lock the bottom part. So now when I drag this one, you see that this follows. I mean this looks pretty well, but there's still a few things we need to tweak and to fix. Let me just create material for this part and let's go to material and just create new one, name it as a metal green for example. Let's pick some green color, make it as a metallic and add reflectivity. And let's move to realistic to see how this looks like. Okay, this seems fine and I will just add the metal to the other parts as well. We are almost done. The thing you don't want to have in your family when you are doing this is those lines visible between our geometry. So what you have to do is just go here to the join and let's join our geometries. And here it comes. A very nice geometry, very simply done. And what's the best is that the size of the family is very small. As you could see, it's just 500 kilobytes. Thanks a lot for watching. That was it for today's tutorial. I really hope that you enjoyed this one, if so please like the video and subscribe to our channel.